Hello everybody, welcome to another t tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to display your health in game. The way we're going to display is we're going to display it via an action bar, which is just a little bar at the bottom of your screen. And then we're also going to display it using your name tag. So it's going to say your name and then, and then your health out of your max health, which a player's max health is 20. So, let's get into it. Before anything, if you're going to make a new file like I did, I named mine health.js, you need to make sure to import it in your main.js. Import dot slash health.js. Alright, the reason it's good to import files is because, you know, files can start looking like a mess like this. You do not want it to look like a mess. Anyways, back to health. So what we're going to do is so we're going to we're going to get their health every single tick and display it with an action bar. So world.events.tick.subscribe data. The thing about a tick event is that the data here is kind of useless. Just current tick and and delta time. And so the way that we're gonna get a player is we're just gonna do four const player of <coughs> Oh god, I'm so sorry world out get players so now player got one command we're gonna be running a title command on ourselves an action bar title and now what should this thing be make sure you have a color code symbol you know like double squiggly s thing so we're gonna have the color code c and then health it's gonna be, I don't know, it's gonna be something, I'll do something. How are we gonna find our current health value? Well, we're gonna be using components. And more specifically, we're gonna be using the entity health component. That finds the health properties of an entity. If you just scroll down, current is a property. Returns the current value of health for an entity. So that's what we're gonna do. How do we get components? Well, it's a method called get component. Player dot get component. This component is going to be health. And what are we going to do with this health component? Well, we're going to get the current. If you look right here, it only says ID. Don't worry, that's not a bug. You didn't do anything wrong. It's just because whenever you get component, it thinks it's an I entity component, even though you put health in here, meaning it turns into a health component. So then you can use anything here current out of 20, this player has 20 health. And so let's go and game and test that. So go to the BP test, which I made. Make sure you have your game test experiments on. Look at that, health 5 out of 20. Because if I go into game mode survival, I, I, I do not have 5 health. I do not know why it's saying that. There we go, actually. I have 6, 7, as you can see, health is going up and so is the action bar. So health goes down, the action bar goes down. So your action bar is corresponding to the health. This honestly isn't that useful. It's cool but not that useful. What would be useful however is if your health was in your name tag. No, well it's just I blaze, the I blaze and then four out of twenty. And so let's do that. What we're going to do that is we're going to do player dot name tag. We're just going to set the name tag. As you can see right here, name tag is not read only. It's just name tag optional. So we're, going to do is we're going to set this to oop. Set this to player dot name space. Boom. I'm going to make sure it's nice light red. Out of the twenty. So your name tag is going to be your name, a light red health out of 20. So it should say 4 out of 20 for me. So I were to leave and rejoin, just make sure you save it with Control S. If you don't know how to save it, then I don't know how you've been watching these tutorials. So if I were to look at my name tag, look at that. I blazed 4 out of 20. And yeah, that's how you make yourself a little health display thing. This
this self display is quite useful for like worlds, realms, servers, and whatnot. You know? It's another thing that makes game test just so so nice. Really glad I know game test. And yeah, that's it for this tutorial. See ya.